Yo, what's up everybody? Mark here. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And today we have the summon video. Are you guys excited? Yay! So anyway, a God Goku just came out, right? 318, that's when, you know, it's kind of funny, 318, right? Uh, Saiyan Day banner came out for me. And these, these are my summons, right? So this is a voiceover, but because uh, I, did, I did do it on stream. And then obviously, you know, I don't want like any background stuff. I just want to specifically talk about the banner and stuff like that. So these were my summons. Uh, I show the banner off here. So, you know, God Goku, I think is pretty good. Vegeta is pretty good. Vegeta and Trunks are obviously a must have at this point. Majin Vegeta is pretty solid. Uh, you know, my, like, like I said, Majin Vegeta is pretty solid. Uh, Broly is pretty solid. And then we have this this garbage uh, God It's here, uh, which when I first saw him, like I was just, I was just, to be honest, I was kind of pissed off. And like even afterwards, like right now, I kind of am. Cause I mean, you, you'll you'll see in the video, right? I, I have something special for this uh, for this guy, this, this funny guy. I have something special for him at the end of the video. So, um, and then you know, Nami Goku, and then you have Bardock. Bardock, um, I think for newer players, he'll be solid, a solid leader, um, especially for like some legendary Vegeta event missions and stuff. Uh, but at this point, he kind of sucks. He sucks too, but he doesn't frustrate me as much as. Uh, Goddess does, because Goddess is not going to get an easy A anytime soon, so he's worthless. Whereas Bardock, he can get an easy A sometime, sometime soon, right? Uh, the name of Goku is pretty much, he, he's, he's decent, right? He's comparable to Ent Broly and stuff like that. Uh, he's, probably, he's probably just better than Ent Broly, but I'm just saying, like, you know, he's, he's a little bit comparable, right? Um, so in this video, we're going to be showing my global summons and I'm going to show my JP summons as well. I kind of did it both in one stream. Um, and then, you know, like I said, here's the summoning video. So on global, I had around like 600 stones ish, like it was 588, but I, I'm just going to call it 600. And then on JP, I had roughly like 300 as well. So pretty much a good amount of stones. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything obviously in the, in the video here, but uh, God Goku, I think he he seems pretty amazing. He seems pretty pretty nice. Um, best to you are like I, I would have to use him a little bit. I want to see how he compares to Gamma One, but see the kicker is that you could run Gamma One and him together because uh, because he's mo he's movie hero right. So you could run them together, and even like on other teams, like they'll share shock and speed. So it's like it's crazy. It's crazy like how well they actually kind of work together right um so uh before this video comes out i'm i'm gonna do a should you, a should you summon video so you guys will know my thoughts on whether or not you should summon or not but hopefully you know hopefully you guys had a lot of decent luck on this banner and stuff um i know i had a couple of friends that was able to pull jiren trunks and god goku and all this craziness uh which are huge w's those are pretty much the only two people that you really want from the banner. I think Majin Vegeta is solid, but Majin Vegeta is only going to be solid if you can pull Vegeta and Trunks. Uh, Broly, well, no, my bad. Majin Vegeta is good. He's good uh, if you pull Vegeta and Trunks, but if not, you're never going to use him, pretty much. Um, Broly, I think Broly is solid if you can get him to 79%, but I think 55%, he's not going to be good enough at this current meta. Because he, he needs to stack, right? Like, he needs to stack. I think against, like, Broly, like, Red Zone Broly, he's very solid, especially if you can stack up a lot. And as you guys see, you know, we just get the new Vegeta. Um, I was able to SA-10 him because, you know, his super attack is, like, pseudo-farmable. I think it's normally farmable as well, but if if not, you can definitely farm his super attack with SR or Vegeta's, right? Not the biggest deal. Um, I think that Vegeta can be very solid. Um... Like even for free-to-play players and stuff like that. I mean, he does need to get hit six times, which is, you know, definitely not the most uh, consistent ever. But you know, we'll we'll see. I, I want to see how he performs at 55 percent and stuff like that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Like I said, God Goku, very very good Saiyan Day character. You know, I thought I thought there was gonna be some wonkiness with Saiyan, because like most of the Saiyan Day characters that they release. Because it's global and JP, I feel like the same day characters weren't really that crazy on release. Like I, I feel like when Majin Vegeta first released, I feel like they like gimped them a little bit with all these stupid restrictions. Because you know, I just felt like I just I don't know. Like I just felt like it was kind of off. But this guy Goku definitely feels a lot better than the other same day characters and stuff like that. 
Um, we don't, you know, we don't, I will say this, you know, we don't get any Zenos or like any crazy animations. The only thing we get is pretty much Vegito, like in this whole summoning video, I guess. Um, so yeah, guys, so if you guys were wondering whether or not you should use your red coins for Vegito and Trunks and stuff like that, I would say use your red coins, but only, and I mean only after you know for a fact you're not summoning on the banner anymore. Um, I, I think on global I can squeeze in maybe three more multis or maybe two more. I'll squeeze in three or two more. All right, the easy A's are not going to come out until March 23rd. So I, I think I may wait a little bit until then, right? Um, I may go ahead and just like you know, wait to do another hundred, you know, basically like another two or three multis. And then if I don't pull God Goku or Vegeta and Trunks, then I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to be done. And then just buy Vegeta and Trunks with red coins. So, you know, and then you also want to make sure you don't you don't ever buy dupes with red coins. Always make sure you get new characters when it comes to red coins and stuff like that. Um, what else? I I want to say that like I want to say Vegeta and Trunks is like must have like you need to get them like now um, because this is their first return back. And I don't think they're going to be returning back for another long time after this. So, you know, it's kind of like you need to have them here, which is why, you know, I saved up my red coins and stuff like that for this exact moment. I did have, like, like, like I said, I did have, like, I did have around, like, 500-something-ish stones at the start. I didn't really want to spend all of my stones on this, but I was really trying to get Vegeta and Trunks or God of Goku before I actually had to use my red coins. And it just seems like that's probably not going to happen. I mean, we'll see, right? Uh, to be honest, I want to guide Goku more than Vegeta and Trunks because I can just buy Vegeta and Trunks, right? Whereas guide Goku, I can't. I'm not sure if I'll probably do another summoning video. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll you know, bite the bullet and get the Elof's Trove pack or something. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we'll, we'll see, right? I think guide Goku at this point, he, he's not really like a must-have, but he's super good, right? Um, I need to see how he how he performs at 55% to solidify whether or not I like, I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I have to chase him, you know, stuff like that. But he definitely seems pretty solid. But yeah, I hope you guys had way better luck than I did, um, especially here on Global. Uh, things didn't really go that great because, you know, I really want to save some of my stones a little bit because, you know, we do have Golden Week, right? Golden Week will be here pretty soon. We don't know what that looks like. I really don't want to spend all of my stones because you know we also have anniversary as well, and you know those banners are so damn good. Like there's no L's on the on those banners. Like the only L is an LR, right? No, no, no. The only L is a probably physical Super Vegeta on the eighth anniversary banners, right? I, mean, I do have him rainbowed, so that that would suck. But you know, as you guys see, we just keep pulling this damn Broly, which is fine because he i had him at 55 percent at the start of this but like you, you know how frustrating it can get and stuff like that um but definitely it's just like on this banner there's like what two l's there's really like two l's but i think for a lot of people there's like a lot of garbage and you know raditz being on this banner is just a huge l like i didn't even want to pull him ever because me personally i know for a fact that if i pull raditz I'm not using him. I will never use him. I don't know if you guys noticed, but obviously Raditz is, like Raditz, is my least favorite character in this game. Uh, not like least favorite character, period, but he's just, I hate, I hate Raditz. Like, they, they fumbled him so bad, I hate him. So, uh, I will talk very negative, negatively on him, because he sucks. Especially for my account. Um, like, I just, I just will never use him. Like, I'm not going to waste my time on garbage like if it was like okay so if it was the resurrection of blues right just give us the resurrection of blues on this banner and i you know if i pull with them okay i'll be fine with that right but we have trash it's we have mid it's all right we have mid it's on this stupid banner so it's like you pull mid it's and then you just sit there and and you, you just sit there and take the l because like for example like <laughs> like for for me what, what when am i using him like where am i going to use him you know, this is a little bit of a rant, a little bit, but I have to, I have to, I have to go ahead, I have to release, release this, uh, this hidden anger. Um, but it's just like, like where, where the, like where the hell am I using Nivets, right? Like where am I using him? I'm not using him in Super Battle Road. He's trash. 
I'm not using him in legendary Vegeta event. He can get one shot. I'm not using him like like even for newer players. I guess for newer players, I, I guess it, it'll help newer players, right? Because of his leader skill, right? Pure Saiyan leader skill. But he's literally the detriment to the team, <laughs> right? Like it's just, oh man, like I don't know what the hell they were thinking. And then it's not, it's not like, oh well, you know, just calm down, man. He's gonna get his easy A very soon, and like no. He's trash, and he's gonna be garbage for the next three years, two years. Maybe, okay, never mind. Three years, he's gonna be garbage. Like, and then it's just like you're just supposed to sit there, hold your breath, take the L, and just be like, "Yay, I pull uh, mid." It's like, no, no, I don't take the L. Okay, I, <laughs> I don't sit here and just and just be like, "Oh, yay!" Like, no, God, it's is garbage, and that's why at the end of this video, you guys will see something. Something well deserving for uh, garbage. It's so. Anyways, right? And it's like here's another thing too. Like, like you're not gonna run him in world tournament. I've tried him in world tournament. He's trash. He's garbage. He can't he can't even barely get key. Like, why would why would not like I have SDR Broly? Why would I run him? Like, it, there's nowhere I'm using rabbits. Nowhere. Even if I had him rainbow, he's trash. I literally took a rainbow rabbits into the legendary Vegeta event. And he was doing four mil attack stats. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, guys, sorry, sorry for the rant. I just, I just had to release that because I just, oh man, this is damn uh, rabbits, man. So, like I said, hopefully you guys have better luck than me. There's definitely way more content creators out there that gets way more frustrated with Raditz because, you know, at least for me, I don't have him rainbowed, right? I didn't even have him, period, but I didn't want him, ever. And that's why I didn't summon for Kid Goku banner. Obviously, I didn't summon his trash banner when he came out. But it's like, if Raditz was good, I wouldn't have a problem with pulling him. But it's like, they literally put him on, okay, they literally put him on this banner because they knew he was an L. Let that sink in, right? He was just on Kid Goku's banner. Why the hell is he on this banner? AGL Bardock is on Tech Bardock's banner. Why are they on this banner? You wanna know why? Well, Bardock makes sense because he's the same day character, but uh, but yeah, um, they literally put Raditz on this banner because he's garbage. They literally put him on this banner because he's trash. That's why they did it. They could have easily put a I mean, I guess it's supposed to be like a like a full like pure Saiyan like type thing or something, but it's like God Goku's leader skill is hybrid and pure Saiyan, so obviously it's not just the pure Saiyan thing. So they could have put Tech Ultimate Gohan on his banner if they really wanted to be like, oh, you know, we want to put an old unit. Okay, we'll put Tech Ultimate Gohan on the banner, right? Put put the put the Universe Six Girls on the banner, and I'll feel way better than this garbage God it's. My bad. Mid it's like I will never use this clown. <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> oh man. I just oof man. Oh uh, man, it's crazy. Um uh, anyways guys, like I said, hopefully you guys have way better luck than I did. Um the, you know, we're on JP right now. I meant to say that a little bit earlier, but I got I, I got I got kinda kinda sidetracked a little bit. Um, so we're on, we're on JP, so obviously my luck on JP was definitely a lot better. Like I said, I will be doing another uh, three multis, and I'll probably make that a short. Uh, probably just do another quick three multis, make it a short or something like that. Um, and I, I may bite the bullet. I may spend uh, some, some 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 currency here, but we'll we'll, we'll see, right? We shall definitely see. Um, no, let me guys, let me know in the comments, guys, if you you know how you feel about uh, God Goku and stuff like that. I mean, you guys are probably busy awakening and stuff like that. But um, you know, I, I was actually super uh, super excited about getting Vegeta and Trunks here on my JP account because I I you know I played it smart, right? I had a lot of red coins saved up for them, um, but instead someone told me that I should get cooler with red coins in, instead because I, I do have a good villain team, but I just didn't have cooler. And I knew for a fact that if I did not pull cooler, like if I didn't get cooler now, I wouldn't get them, period, for like, like what, six months, eight months? So I'm like, you know what, let me just buy cooler, uh, fine form cooler, and it definitely paid out, right? Because now we have Vegeta and Trunks, so it's like nothing happened, right? 
And no matter what, whether I pull the GM trunks right there or not, I was going to chase them. I was going to chase them on this banner here because uh, I was just going to chase them, right? Because I, like, I, like, I wasn't going to sit here and fumble and get cooler, but then just don't get Vegeta and Trunks. Like, no. Uh, me getting Vegeta and Trunks on my JP account is a huge W um, because I have both 8th Anniversary LRs and all this craziness, right? So, anyways, hopefully you guys are able to get Vegeta and Trunks. They're, like, a must-have, if I'm being honest. They're, like, damn near must-have. Um, especially now since this is their first return back. Got a Goku, amazing, spectacular. Hope you guys, you know, were able to pull them. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.